Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Math1089. This video is about the number 1089. Coincidentally, the name of the YouTube channel is also Math1089. Actually, this video is a continuation video to the previous video of 1089. The video was about how to get 1089 from any three digit number whose first and last digits differ by two or more. The link for the video is given in the description box. This video, I mean the today's video is about various representation. It's about various representation of the number 1089 by the use of various mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fraction, exponential, factorial, etc. This is the first representation of 1089 using the digits 1, 7, 2 and 9 only. We can write like 17 plus 2 into 9 plus 17 into 2 whole multiplying by 9. This is the next representation of 1089 where the digits 9, 8, 7, 6 and 5 are being used and we can write like 9 into 8 into 7 plus 65. This is another representation of 1089. In this representation, all the digits starting from 1 to 9 is used and we can write 1089 as 987 plus 65 plus 4 plus 32 plus 1. It only uses addition symbol. Now this representation is a bit complicated compared to the previous one because apart from addition exponentiation that means power is also involved moreover all the digits from 1 to 9 are present here this representation is much tougher than the previous one this representation is using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Also the mathematical operation addition and subtraction is there. And finally all the terms are appear appearing as a power. So 0 to the power of 1 minus 1 cube plus 2 to the power of 5 plus 3 square plus 4 to the power of 0 plus 5 to the power of 4. This representation as little bit tougher than the previous one. This is the next representation where we can write 1089 as 0 to the power of 5 plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 2 to the power of 6 plus 3 to the power of 1 plus 4 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 4 plus 6 square. Here all the digits starting from 0 to 6 is used. Another representation of 1089 using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 only. All the terms are in the power form and the mathematical operations addition and subtraction is present here. In this representation we can write 1089 as 0 square minus 1 to the power 7 minus 2 to the power of 6, minus 3 to the power of 8, plus 4 cube, plus 5 to the power of 5, plus 6 to the power of 1, plus 7 to the power of 0, plus 8 to the power of 4. All the terms appears as a power of some digit and the digits from 0 to 8 only are used in this representation. Yet another representation 
which looks like 0 to the power of 7 plus 1 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 5 minus 3 to the power of 8 plus 4 to the power of 6 plus 5 square plus 6 to the power of 1 plus 7 to the power of 4 plus 8 to the power of 0 plus 9 cube. This is another representation of 1089 where the digits from 0 to 9 is present. Now factorial. 4 factorial is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 24. 0 factorial is equal to 1. This representation involves exponentiation as well as factorial. So 4 factorial plus 3 square whole to the power of 1 plus 0 factorial. 1 plus 0 factorial is equal to 2. So this representation contains factorial and exponentiation. We now turn our attention how to represent 1089 using the digit 1 only and with the help of fraction. We can see that 1089 can be written as 1111 this is a four digit number minus 11 a two digit number minus 11 another two digit number divided by 1. So this particular representation is in terms of fraction and it's a single digit representation using the digit 1. This is the next representation of 1089 using only the digit 2 and the fraction which is equal to 2222 minus 22 minus 22 divided by 2. It appears that only the digit 2 is here. We can also write 1089 using the digit 3 only and in terms of fraction. We can write 3333 minus 33 minus 33 divided by 3 which is equal to 1089. This representation contain only the digit 3. 4444 minus 44 minus 44 whole divided by 4 is equal to 1089. This is the next representation of 1089. Here we use only the digit 4 and the concept of fraction. It is possible to represent 1089 using the single digit 5 by the way like 5555 minus 55 minus 55 whole divided by 5. It appears to present only the digit 5 here. Similarly, we can represent 1089 using the digit 6 only which is equal to 6666 minus 66 minus 66 whole divided by 6 which is equal to 1089 and it appears that only the digit 6 is used here. Next is the representation of 1089 using the digit 7 only. So we can write 1089 as 7777 minus 77 minus 77 whole divided by 7. This is the representation using the digit 7 only. Next representation of 1089 is using the digit 8 which is equal to 8888 minus 88 minus 88 whole divided by 8. In this representation we use only the digit 8. And finally the representation of 1089 using only the digit 9 is 9999 minus 99 minus 99 whole divided by 9. Now from all the representations as shown using the digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 what 
common things we can see. Let's analyze this. In a general format, we can write 1089 as A A A A. Now this A A A A means it's a four digit number minus A A means it's a two digit number minus A A another two digit number whole divided by A where A is the repeated digit by which we are representing 1089. So A A A A this is a four digit number which is equal to 1000 into A plus 100 into A plus 10 into A plus 1. That means 1000 A plus 100 A plus 10 A plus A which is equal to 1111 A. Similarly A A stands for 10 A plus A which is equal to 11 A. Now if you look into the picture of A A A A that is equal to 1111A minus AA means 11A minus AA means 11A whole divided by A. So 1111 minus 22A whole divided by A which is equal to 1089A by A. Now these A and A can get cancelled so that we can find 1089 the constant as the answer. So this is how we can represent 1089 using various digit, various mathematical representation, various mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division etc. Hope you like the video. Please share this video. Also subscribe to the channel Math1089. Thank you. Thank you once again for watching this video.